With the Advantec subfloor assembly, you can be sure that you're building a reputation on something stronger. And the best builders, well, they may always stand apart, but they never stand alone. So ask yourself, are you bringing your A-game? Hey everybody, welcome back to Before the Build. Yes, we are talking details. We are waist deep in the details of that Hilltop Arrow project. And today we are up at the roof eave. Yes, where the second floor wall meets that low roof eave. This is a single slope vented roof system. So we got a lot of great transition things happening there. So, of course, good friend Big Red is here to join us, and we are not going to slow down one bit. We're diving in. Let's talk Roof Eve. All right. So, here's our building section so we get an understanding of where this detail is. So, we're talking about the Roof Eve. We're talking about that detail right there where the second floor wall meets the roof. So, let's talk about it. We're going to start a sheet. And there we have that roof eave detail. So, you can see here, we have our top plate there. There's our T-stud coming up. Carrying our wall frame, there's our double top plate. And I know sometimes, you know, advanced framing, people say, hey, why don't you do a single top plate? A lot of the framers don't like it. We're messing around with T-studs, which was something new to this framer. So basically, you know, you fight the battles, you can win. Um, in this case here, for, therm um, for water management, obviously, let's talk about that, right? Water coming off here and dripping. We're at two feet. Two foot zero inch overhang, 24 inch overhang. That's a really good overhang. That even if we had a window head in here, that would have to be a hell of a driving rain to get water into that system. So, as far as our wall does go, we have our rain screen space right there. And then we have our exterior sheathing, in this case, boral. True exterior on the outside. For vapor, we have the Sega Myrex on the inside. You can see it labeled right there. It's a smart vapor retarder so that if the wall does get wet inside, that valve on the vapor retarder, if you will, opens up so that we get drying to the inside. As far as thermal goes, well, you notice here we have our Zip R9. We brought up the wall. We have our Havelock wall in the wall there. So, again, we're at, I don't know, roughly R32-ish, 31-ish, something like that, in that wall system. Notice that we actually carry that up here, too. Um, we're going to talk about the air barrier um, in a second. And then as far as our attic goes, we have our vent space here. That's far to, part of our vapor profile, right? We have a metal panel soffit system. That metal panel is a perforated soffit so that air can get up into that system. We have our vent space, vented air space here. Typically that's one and a half to two inches so that we can get that airstream moving up under the underside of our sheathing. In this case here, we netted off the portion above the wall and we blew in or sprayed in some closed cell insulation just at the rim of the uh, roof trusses. And then the rest of this gets filled with 18 inches of cellulose. And that's roughly an R68-ish. 
So R32-ish in the wall, R68-ish. And then we have, you know, roughly R7 plus windows. So it's a it's a really good proportional take on the thermal values. But lastly, let's talk about the air barrier. Well, we use the face of the Zip R9 as our air barrier. Notice here we have a piece of three quarter inch Advantech. Well, it goes out to meet the R9 so that we can tape over that and basically connect the R9 to the Advantech. Obviously, the butt joints of that Advantech get taped. But what that leaves us with is it leaves us with this four inch flange that sticks out inside. And the good guys at Aero Building, well, we put some furring strips in here so that we can uh, maintain that three quarter inch space. But we put a couple beads of sealant here, and before we put up our second floor partition walls, we run our half inch gypsum board across the ceiling. So our air barrier continuity is such that it's the face of the R9. The R9 gets taped to the Advantech. The Advantech gets sealant to the gypsum board and the gypsum board goes across the building and will go down the wall on the other side in a mirrored version of this detail. So, so there you go. It's a vented roof system. It's a one in 12. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that because most people will tell you the uh, building science suggests that we don't vent anything less than a three in 12, but we chose to vent this for a number of reasons that we'll get into when we uh, get to those details. And uh, we actually tested it out, and it tested out very, very well. So, anyways, there you have it. That's the uh, roof eave detail. Got some great photos here from construction coming up in the slideshow. So, enjoy the photos, and until next time.